Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel if you guys are new here. My name is Gianna Leanne and today we're going thrift book shopping. I have found so many new thrift bookstores that I have been meaning to go to. So today we are finally going to check those out, see what they're all about, see what deals we can find, what books we can find. I am so excited. It is going to be so fun and hopefully I will find some new releases or some popular book talk books or some series. I don't know. We're going to have to see, see how much money we can save and it's going to be a fun bookstore vlog and obviously stay tuned for the book haul i will give you guys when i get back It seems like this store has mostly only like older books. So we're gonna see if we can find something still. success. Okay guys, after a long day of shopping, I'm finally home and we got a lot of books to go through. To take them all out of the bag. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, 
No, a big stack. So these are all the books that I ended up picking up today. Yeah. <laughs> so I did end up picking up seven books today, guys. I had an amazing thrift book shopping journey. I found so many good reads and we're just gonna get right into the haul because I'm so excited to tell you guys about every single one of these books. I ended up going to three stores as you guys saw and I'm gonna tell you guys every single book that I got from each store and the price. And I actually ended up finding pretty much all summer reads, which was so, so perfect considering summer is literally almost here. So the first book that I ended up getting was Big Summer by Jen Jennifer Weiner? Weiner? I don't know. But look at this cover. It's so summery. I love it. I actually saw this right when I was leaving and I ended up getting this for $8. I'm pretty sure. So it's brand new condition basically like every single book that I got here. This one seemed really cool because it seems like it has more social media aspects, some girl drama going on, ex-best friends going on with the summer aspect. So I picked up on a whim. I don't know anything about it. I kind of want to go into it blind, but that is currently the gist of what I'm getting from this book. But but it does also say that the main character is an Instagram influencer for promoting self-love of more of a curvy plus size person. So that seems really, really cool. It's kind of giving me set on you vibes, which I have, I just haven't read yet. So this is the first book, $8, it was a steal. And I got this one from the first bookstore that we went to, which was Galore Books. Also from Galore Books, I got An Honest Lie by Taryn Fisher. Got this one for $8 as well. Brand new condition. I don't think there's a single flaw to this book. I was actually recommended this from one of you guys, I'm pretty sure. So I saw it and I was like, hmm, this is perfect. But I've heard lots and lots of good things about this. The cover looks very spooky. I think it's giving summery vibes, but I could be completely wrong. It says, I'm going to kill her. You better come if you want to save her. Wow, okay. <laughs> right off the jump, that seems so intriguing. That's the only thing I read on the back before I bought it. It says, when Rainy reluctantly agrees to a girls weekend in Vegas, she's prepared for an exhausting parade of shots and slot machines. But after a wild night, her friend Braith doesn't come back to the hotel room. Dark, disturbing, and deliciously addictive. And that was a quote from B.A. Paris, which is one of my favorite authors currently. She wrote Behind Closed Doors, which was a five-star read for me. So if she says that there's some good things about this, then I I have a feeling it's gonna be good. So this is the second one that I picked up and yet again, another steal. The last book I picked up from Glore Books was Stargazer by Lori Petro. Petru? Let's just take a second to look at this cover really quick because this actually reminds me of The Divines. It was another book that I really, really wanted to read, but I think they're very similar because it deals with toxic girl friendships. And I don't know why, but I have caught an interest on that like theme slash plot of books lately. So this one seems really, really cool. It's super, super short. It's also really, really tiny. So the cover, I just had to. It was just so perfect. And it also says, selected as one of the hottest new beach reads for summer 2022 and featured on Taylor Jenkins Reid summer reading list, which I love Taylor Jenkins Reid. That just made me want to buy it even more. But it says, it's a fine line between admiration and envy. We have toxic girl friendships going on and it seems like it's going to be cool and there's going to be a lot of messy drama in it, which is something I definitely want to be reading in the summertime, especially on the beach. So these are the books that I ended up getting from the first bookstore that we went to and it was a success. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Next, I ended up going to Willow Books and I just ended up picking up one book there. Like I said, they had more older books, classic books, more collectible books. So it wasn't a lot of known authors or newer style books that I was interested in that I saw there, but I did find Anatomy of a Scandal by Sarah Vaughn. This one seems so intriguing. First of all, the cover already off the bat and then the back literally just says some people's secrets are darker than others. I ended up getting this one for $5.50, I'm pretty sure. So it was a steal considering it is in perfect condition. It says a shocking confession, a high profile trial, a scandal unfolding. So that seems very, very suspenseful. I'm getting kind of psychological thriller vibes from this. And it also says in this riveting story of power, revenge and deception, no one's motives are pure, but some people's secrets are much darker than others. So that drew me in right away. Other than that, I'm going into this book completely blind. I love to do that with psychological thrillers. So 
that's what I'm doing for this book, but it just seems so cool and it caught my eye straight away. This one was a must for me to pick up. And then lastly, I went to GNU Books, which was the last place that we went to, and I ended up picking up three books. The first one was a complete steal. It was Mad Honey by Jody Picoult and Jennifer Finney Bolin. So two authors we have going on here. I remember when this first released, and it was like a $40 hardcover book because hardcovers, as we know, are more expensive than paperbacks. I don't think they have a paperback version out of this book yet, but I ended up getting this for $8. Brand new condition, basically, except for a little bit of dirt over there but I had my eye on this book for a while I just never ended up picking it up because of the price and because it's hardcover with the steel I knew I just had to do it because I am still interested in reading the book but this one's more like murder mystery I'm pretty sure um like a darker mystery it says a soul-stirring novel about what we choose to keep and what we choose to leave behind wow <laughs> and also the note from the author says mad honey is a riveting novel of suspense an unforgettable love story and a moving and powerful exploration of the secrets we keep and the risks we take in order to become ourselves. This one just seems so cool and I love the cover so much. This one was a must. Then I picked up The Dilemma by B.A. Paris. I got this one for $6 and I don't know anything about this. I haven't heard anything about this, but it is by B.A. Paris and because I loved Behind Closed Doors so much, I wanted to pick up another book by her and with how cheap this one was and the condition and I saw it. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go on a whim and let's just buy it. And it also literally shows her best-selling book, Behind Closed Doors. It says, knowing the truth will destroy her, keeping it secret will destroy him. So I'm pretty sure this one deals with a married couple, just like Behind Closed Doors did, but that one was more of a domestic abuse situation. But this one I'm pretty sure involves some secrets and some dark past of the family in general with the husband and the wife and the daughter. And I think the mystery deals with the daughter and the, who she really is and her identity and a bunch of secrets. So that's what I got from this book. And it's also shorter, so hopefully it'll be fast paced. We all love that. I love the cover as well. Yeah, I'm just super excited because I love this author. And then the last book I picked up, I was so surprised I saw this at the bookstore. I saw it right when I was leaving, but it's One Italian Summer by Rebecca Searle. I got this one for $6. And look at the cover, it's like the gold shines a little bit. I thought that was so cool. But I've heard so many good things about this book, especially for summertime. I saw a lot about this book last year. I'm a little late to reading it, but hopefully this summer I can pick it up. Seems like it will be a perfect beach read, especially if it's based in Italy and just giving those Italian vibes and themes in general because I'm Italian. Plus I'm planning on going to Italy this September. So hopefully this will get me even more excited to go. And yeah, I just knew I had to pick it up. I don't even really know what it's about, but I just knew how much everyone else loved it. And it's a summer read, so it was very necessary. But it says that the author returns with a moving and unforgettable exploration of the powerful bond between mother and daughter set on the breathtaking Amalfi Coast. And it also says that it's a great love story, a transcendent novel about how we move on after loss and how the people People we love never truly leave us. So I'm pretty sure a few of the booktubers that I watch have read this recently. It's one of their favorites and they were saying how it's basically based on kind of an adventure style where the girl's mother actually passes away and she ends up going back to the town and that's basically all I know. I don't really know anything else about this book. I've heard so many good things so should be good especially for summer and this was probably like the most summery book that I picked up and I was just so happy to find it. So this was the last one that I ended up finding. So in total, with the seven books that I picked up, I'm pretty sure I spent about roughly $55, which is insane to me for getting seven books because if I were to buy these new, it would have costed me so much more money because honestly, in Canada, I can get maybe three or four books for $100. So getting seven for $55, that just is insane to me. Plus they're in such good condition. So like I always tell you guys, every thrift bookstore video that I do, you guys should definitely check out your thrift bookstores in your area because you can find some really really good books. I've 
proved it to you guys and you never know what you're gonna find. I don't know, it's just kind of fun going and seeing what you can find because you never know at the end of the day. So I had a really, really, really fun time bringing you guys along my thrift book shopping journey and showing you guys kind of where I go, how I do it and stuff like that. But I really, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you guys like to go thrift bookstore shopping or if you guys have ever done it or if you're interested in doing it. Let me know all the details in the comments down below. Other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff you guys know how to do. And with that, I hope you guys are having an amazing, wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye! One, two, three, four, five. The, fir the first book. Instagram ins. Okay, my face is heating up.